Hey there, uh, it's Drums Legacy. Uh, this is my video drawing Podecasaurus foliokensis, which is the new Massachusetts state dinosaur. Uh, I start out with a bit of um, studies first, first a cat and then a raven. This is just to study the light on bird feathers. Real quick, uh, nothing, nothing special. Um, just kind of the pattern and seeing how dark I can get. Originally I wanted this sketch to be uh, kind of a Corvid type color and uh, I ended up going with something different, but there was my idea to begin with. And here we go. The Here's the beginning of the stages of the sketch. Extremely messy. I'm kind of just feeling things around. I'm having fun making lines. Um, that's kind of just my style when sketching. I'm very messy at first and then it becomes much tighter as I go on. Here I am adding like how the neck's gonna look. Originally I thought about making it a floofy neck but then decided against it and I didn't want to go too weird. And I use the selection tool to make the uh, fill-in area. And now I'm going in with a small brush with a purple. It's actually a bright purple, but it looks dark because it's on a multiply layer. And I'm adding in all the occlusion shadows. And so those are the shadows between two objects, so like two feathers that are close together. So it's the shadows between. And it's a great way to add detail and kind of define, it, it is what helps define forms. So I'm going in um, and I want to remove my sketch as soon as possible. So you're going to see me fade it out slowly because I need to know where I've detailed and which area is actually the leftover sketch, which is on a different layer. And it starts to really get tighter and tighter. Um, I clean up the edges. Here I am adding the feathers up the tail, uh, separating out, deciding like when I did this, this is a fun drawing. It's not meant to take lots of time. So I wasn't that careful about the outline and where each feather fell. I was more going for a texture. If this was a drawing for an, for a book, I would much more carefully think out each plane of feathers and I might even make a little model for myself. Now I'm adding pops of color and going back in again. A lot of the, a lot of time is spent on this phase of adding the occlusion shadows because that's really what defines the form and the features. You saw me adjust the leg to make sure that it's standing correctly. It's not perfect, but it is much better than it was, which it would have been almost cross-legged if, if you were to see it from the front view <laughs> earlier. Dinosaurs have so many feathers. It's thought that by this time, even like their, their legs would have been feathered. You know, you have Archaeopteryx is a great example. Um, it's not quite sure how long the feathers are, but they definitely had true feathers. Um, I went in and I, I changed the spots up. You'll, you saw me delete them and then redo them because I had made horizontal lines where there should have been vertical ones, basically. And I only did one side of the feather. Many birds have only one side of the feather, you know, marked, and I kind of like that effect. And then the spots are inspired by guinea fowl from Africa. It could take a lot to draw feathers. Um, I had to keep myself from drawing every feather. You don't want to get into that. Um, but I wanted enough to maintain the illusion of lots of feathers. And then the next stage is to go in with a very, very, very light yellow. And I'm detailing out where the highlights are. And it's a great way to add a pop of three dimensions, but it's very easy to overdo this step too. You'll see me sometimes go a little bit too hard and then I come in with an eraser and knock it back. But I also, no matter what, I know that I'm always going to overdo it a little bit because it's so much fun. And so my last step when working on this layer, which is the highlights layer, is always to, to reduce the opacity somewhat. And you saw I made a mark on the, on the thigh and then erased it. In Procreate, I often do that. Um, I, I get stray marks here and there. I have to find them. Sometimes I don't find them in time and it can be hard to remove them manually. Because uh, I don't even know what layer they're on, and there there'll be several layers of paint over it. Um, yep, and here I am signing it. Uh, like I said, it was very very quick. Um, this is a drawing for fun to pass the time between projects, and um, I needed a little bit of a break from Monster Ambulance, which I've been working real hard on. This kind of thing fills the well, and that's important too. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, welcome Massachusetts State Dinosaur.